Bang! Knees Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is running around in the background. Today, we're talking about Real Man Real Leather, the EDC carrier. Let's talk about what fits in it, what doesn't fit in it, how convenient it is, how well built it is, and basically just everything about it. Let's get started. All right, so after we check out the quality of this EDC uh, pouch, we are going to go through a whole bunch of different uh, EDC gear that looks really good with this, different sizes. I'm going to talk about what I think is the perfect size knives and flashlights that goes in this system, and also about how large you can go. So first off, the quality of it is very, very nice. It's very well done. I've been carrying it every single day since I did get it. You can see how it's starting to patina. And I actually like it so much, I have the brown leather one on order because, you know, a brown leather one would be a lot better, you know, served for me. And this was provided by Real Men Real Leather. If you'd like to get yourself one, the link is in the description. But I had to get another one. I want a brown one. Kara's going to start carrying this one because, you know, the black goes better with Kara. The brown goes better with me. The stitching quality is really good. Everything feels nice and tight, um, meaning... Um, you know, like it doesn't feel like it's going to come apart or anything. So this one right here for where you'd put a flashlight or, you know, whatever you'd want to put here does go all the way through. So you have the option to push it up and out. Now, this one does not. This is a pocket that's separated from back here to give you bigger room for whatever you want to put in these two. So this one's smaller. So this one's going to be good for pry bars, pens, stuff like that. This one is going to be most likely your knife carry. And you do have a little push right here. So you can push it up and out if it is really tight in there. But it is pretty wide so you can get something pretty wide in there now the key holder you know that's there's you know obviously that's pretty um self-explainable you know you can carry your keys on it or whatever you'd like now around the edges is done really well i can tell it's going to break in really nicely it has been breaking in really nicely you can tell i've been carrying it now the edges are they going to get frayed yes a little bit but that's just kind of the nature of the beast and the beauty of it, it yes it's going to start showing wear now you can prevent that by the type of clips you decide to carry in here now me I have had a couple different options that I've liked the best in my carry because of that reason, kind of, and also just the size. Now, the way I carry it is I do it the same way every single time. I put my belt through here. As the belt comes through, I let it go through one of my loops on my side close to my right hand front pocket and then i let it come out and then go around and buckle in the front you know my my belt so uh, that's where i personally carry it um you could carry it however you like the back of it is nice and soft so you're not gonna have to worry about you know nothing getting scratched or anything this doesn't reach anything so you're not gonna have to really worry about it dinking against your clip or anything like that i have not noticed any scratches or anything from any of my knives now let's go through some of the sizes in different edc options that look really cool because one thing about this you can dress it up or you can dress it down you can go to work with it one day or you can be out with your your beautiful edc knife or edc gear you can have the colors popping making it look really good and and it does it does look really good um you know you can basically set it up to to match whatever gear you have for that day you know your wrist watch your your ring uh maybe the you know your if you wear brown leather boots with a brown leather belt you'd want a brown leather one and then you know same thing like with the knives like here i got the medford slim midi and it fits really good now it does hang out just a little bit but not much i mean it's right there this is a great size the medford slim midi is a perfect size for this you can easily push it up and out or you can just grab it by the clip and pull it out and then here i have the 5t30s copper olight 
that works great and then here I just have an EDC pry bar with a nice cool uh, bead that's a skull. Now I don't have to worry about the skull because it can't reach this and it's stiff. So no matter how much it swings, it never hits anything. And it just looks cool. All the colors kind of pop together and it looks really nice. This was actually the option I carried today at work and I loved it. Now, let's go through some other options really quick and what is too big, what's perfect. Now, I've noticed the perfect size knife in this is a three inch knife. One of the most carried knives I've carried in here has been my three inch hinder non flipper. It fits perfectly. Everything fits perfectly. And then I let the little hinder hang out right there. Looks really good. And then now, with the, the, the flashlight option, obviously this one works. And you know what else is kind of cool? When it's in there and it's on my hip, if I go into a dark room, I don't even have to take my flashlight out. I can just push that and it'll light up the floor for me because my light's facing out. Now, that's only if your flashlight's aiming out. Now, I could go to something bigger like the baton. And in this case, though, the flashlight is facing upward, but in order to push it out, it's very easy. You know, I just push it through the bottom. Now, in this case, it would be cool if, or even if I was carrying this for this to have copper hardware, you know, you can match it up however you want. Now, I could carry, um, does this match that? No, this is, uh, you know what, I'll go back to the blue one because of the blue and blue. Now, I also have another option. What I've been really carrying a lot is my titanium pen. Now, I take the cap off because it does have a clip, but it fits really good in here without the clip. Now, that's up to you like on how tall you're willing to let it go, but if I did have the cap on here, you see how high it goes. It just doesn't make sense. So, I have no problem carrying it just like that. It works really well, and it actually came in hand. Now, Something a little bit bigger. So like I said, three inch is, in my opinion, it fits the best. Now, what if you have a three inch deep carry clip? Here's a little budget knife. This is the CJRB Mini Feldspar. I'm gonna try to go through a bunch of knives here just in case because hopefully you have one of them or know the size of one of them so you can base your EDC to it. Now the clip does hang up a little bit. This doesn't matter. It's very tight inside there. So if you do have a deep carry clip, that's okay. It's okay for a little bit to stick out. Here we have the Kubi Vagrant. The Kubi Vagrant fits perfectly in there and nice and deep. The Hinder Half Track looks really good in here, especially if I match it with all the other colors. You know, it'll look real sexy. And then over here, let's do this. Since we got the blue, let's do the little mini Olight with the blue. And then, you know, you got the little blue popping right there. It looks real good. And I got the blue on my, my wristwatch popping. Like, you know, you can make it look so good. Um, definitely cool for, for pictures on the gram. But also just walking around, you know, it looks really good. All right, some other options of knives that will fit because that's the biggest thing right your pen yes you're gonna want something shorter you're gonna want and this pen right here with the cap off is around four and a half inches so four and a half inch pen in my opinion works great you, there's lots of options where you can buy pens and stuff a mini grip a mini grip fits perfectly in there it actually has plenty of room what about the big grip? What about the big grip Tillian? Let's take a look at that. The big grip fits perfect. Has a little bit hanging out, but not much. This is a perfect option. Now, you're not going to find a lot of three and a half inch blades that fit good unless if they do not have a deep carry clip. Like if you take something like this, this is about three and a quarter. It's not quite three point. I think it's uh, three and three eighths, the blade length. This is the Spyderco Slush Buoy. Now, the Spyderco Slush Buoy, you see how much hangs out. Now, this is about as large as I prefer to go. I don't like a Sabenza. I think it's just a little bit too big, unless if it's the small Sabenza. The small Sabenza will fit 
perfectly in here. But a large Sebenza, that's a little too much for me. I think that's too much. So a three and a half inch blade can work and also not work. So if you know the size of the Sebenza, it's very close to the Benchmade Griptilian, but it is slightly longer, which does make it not that great for this system. Now, a lot of other options. Let's check out the Manix. Spyderco Manix. Now, this has got the regular clip. Now, this kind of works. It's very tight. No matter what, it's going to be very tight in here um, in a good way. It's not going to go anywhere or anything like that. But you can also dress it, you know, dress it up and get something nice and small. Get all, you know, your little copper and brass items to fit really good. Now, this one obviously has plenty of room. Um, here is, oh, I'm sorry. This was the Real Steel Luna Boost, the frame lock version. And then here is the Civivi Elementum deep carry clip fits perfectly. Now you might want to push this to the side a little bit, just depends on how you want to carry it. I don't really mind if the, the pivot or anything like that's hanging out. I think it looks kind of cool to be honest, especially if you got some good colors. Here is the QSP Penguin, another option that a lot of people know. Now the Penguin is a deep carry clip and it's actually ultra deep, but it fits great. This is a great fit right here, in my opinion. This, it's not like your pocket, you know, where you want it all the way snug. It's okay if it hangs up just a little bit. Another great option that I've been carrying a lot has been the Spyderco Brower. This has been a great option. The Spyderco clips work really good because they're usually not deep carry. Here we have the Concept Mujer. This one hangs up a little bit and you do have the front flipper hanging up on this knife. Um, it's just the way it is. Now, something like an Asher knife. Let's check out the Asher Sp Sp Spyro. Spiro. Great, great knife, deep carry clip. And it works perfect for something like this. Not all the way in, but it's it's very close. Close enough, in my opinion. Now, let's check out another option, the, the Main Street. Because this has a cool color. So, you might want to dress it up with your black and green. This works great, too, because it's not a deep carry clip. Now, if I take the same size knife with a deep carry clip... It'll still work, but you're pushing it. I think this is pushing it this a little much. I don't. I wouldn't personally do this, um, but I would, however, do the main street. But that's up to you. Now, something like the Spider Co. Sorry, this is the Spider Co. Um, Shaman, big knife, large knife. This is pushing it, in my opinion, but it does work. This would be, like I said, about as large as I would personally go. Now, with flashlights, I've noticed pretty much all my flashlights fit. Um, these have been the three that I have been carrying on it. Now, you could go really small if you wanted to and clip something really tiny. But this is a great size for, you know, for me, you know, all my O-lights. I think these work out great. Um, I've been really liking this one in there. This one works great, too. I like them all in there, but I really like the fact that I can just push the button right here and shine the floor. I kind of like that. Um, but, yeah, you can dress it up with your beads, with your lanyards, with the colors of your knives. Um, make it look really cool. Or you can just go, like, with the raw titanium look. This is the Tucson TS-195. Now, this clip... Um, I worry about this clip messing with this because it does have the titanium ball clip, but it, it winds up working out okay. Now, if you had a titanium flashlight and a titanium pen or a titanium um, pry bar that's just raw titanium, this would look really, really good. So, yeah, great option there. Um, but, yeah, there's so many options. And, obviously, you know, however you want to hang your pens, there's so many different ways you know if you have a key bar or something you can hang it there um it just depends on how far you want to hang it and how much you're willing to let dangle and what you got and how much you got um 
But yeah, I, I'm really loving these things. Like I said, very, very well built. Now, complaints. What are my complaints? So I do have only one significant complaint. Um, actually, technically two, but I, I don't know if they're actually legitimate. And I say that because I don't make these. So I don't know. My mother was a seamstress for 17 years, but I don't know if it's doable. But with me, with leather, I like to see double stitching. I prefer double stitching. When I pick out my boots, when I pick out leather coats, jackets, anything like that, I look for double stitching. And in this case, it's only single stitched. Um, does it feel tough? Yes. Does it feel like it's going to come apart? No. But I like single or I like double stitching. Next thing, this can bunch up a little bit when it's on your hip. Now it's easy to just grab it. I just grab both sides and I go dink and it's fine. But carrying it, it's very comfortable. I never feel it. I don't even realize it's on my hip 90% of the time until I need something that I, you know, have on my hip. So it's extremely, extremely comfortable. But I almost wonder if a thicker piece of leather back here would stop it from bunching up. Maybe it would make it worse. I don't know. Like I said, I don't make these. And maybe they did try that and they found out a thicker piece of leather back here doesn't work. Now, this is a thick piece of leather. I'm not saying this is thin. Don't get me wrong. This is not a flimsy, like, um, piece of crap piece of leather. This is a good quality, good quality leather. I just wonder, you know, if it would stop it from bunching up a little bit. Is it that big of a deal? Absolutely not. It's great quality leather. Everything's nice and thick. You know, and it feels really good. It smells good. If you like the smell of leather, I like the smell of leather. But yeah, great quality. And like I said, it's super comfortable. I barely ever even like sitting down, standing up, crouching. Everything I do, I never even notice it until I need it. So there was the first couple days I wore, I forgot. I was wearing it. Um, that's how comfortable it is. Now, I will say another thing that's really cool about it is that when you're carrying it, you can carry your full-size knife in your pocket and then carry your three-inch over here or, you know, like your, your backup, which I think is awesome because I always go to my pocket for my main carry, but there are lots of times like today. Today is a perfect example. I had to loan out my knife, but I still needed a knife. My partner needed a pocket knife. He doesn't carry one. Idiot. So I I gave him my main carry, and then I wound up using my secondary, which um, was technically this knife. But, you know, it wasn't a big deal. I was happy to have two knives on me. I also needed my little pry bar that I was carrying today. So... Yeah, it's really awesome. It looks cool, looks good, gives you more options to carry, and then it keeps things out of your pockets, which is really good. I've noticed that I've really enjoyed having my pocket space because if I carry two knives in my front pocket, I don't carry knives in my back pocket. I always carry my wallet in my back pocket. I carry my cell phone in my left back pocket. I carry other stuff like, you know, um, you know, my smoking things and everything else in my left pocket. And then in my right pocket, I carry just my knife. That's the only thing that goes in there is my knife or knives. So if I have two knives on me, that's where they're going. But it's nice having either one, I could just carry my knife here. And then I don't even need to have anything in my pocket. Or two, carry my full-size knife my, or my large knife in my right pocket, my secondary right here. Now, this will hold still a pretty good size knife i mean we've shown that but you can carry a small knife here too and then you have your main knife and your secondary or you can just leave it as your main knife it just kind of depends on your carry and what you carry but great great um edc carry i love it and i, I do highly recommend it like i said all the links are in the description definitely get yourself one they're 30 bucks 30 dollars that's a great deal for this. I, I, I'm happy to buy another one. Like I said, Kara, she's going to be enjoying this one from now on. Well, as soon as I get the other one, because I'm definitely going to carry this one until I get that other one. Um, and I know a few people already picked them up that watched my videos from before. Uh, you know, they just know good quality when they see it. And, you know, they can tell that I don't BS. So if there's something that I like right off the bat, I'm going to say it. If it has issues, you know, you'll hear. You'll definitely tell. And in this case, it's awesome. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.